Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today we're going to talk about ice cream. Well, not really ice cream so much as the cone that it goes in, and not really so much the edible kind, but the geometry kind. But if it helps to think about ice cream while you're doing this, if that makes you happy, then go for it. And if you want to go get yourself an ice cream cone and then finish this video up, you can do that too. Uh, but a cone in geometry is a 3D figure uh, that has a circular base. So it's just like the pyramid, if you remember what we did with the pyramid, um, where instead of having two congruent bases on the top and bottom, like we saw with the prisms and cylinders, um, it's just got the one base and then everything coming to a point to a vertex. Uh, but So this is just like the, um, the pyramid, the only difference being instead of a polygon for a base, we've got a circle for a base. Um, so it's made up of the base, which is a circle, um, the vertex, which you'd see it says not in the plane of the circle, that just means it's, it's 3D, so it's up above it, um, and then that lateral face, which is sort of the, the part of the cone, the ice cream cone that you would actually eat if, if this was an ice cream cone. Um, so the altitude, that's the same vocab that we used there, the altitude that we used in the, in the pyramid. And we've got the radius of our circle there, uh, and so on. Um, we'll back up for a second. And then we also like the pyramid. It doesn't have it on here, but it have, we have the slant height of the, of the cone, which is, as you would expect, this height here, this distance here. That's the slant height. Uh, and you see we're going to have a right triangle. We saw lots of right triangles in our, in our pyramid. Here we're just going to have the one right triangle, but it's kind of a funky right triangle right, because it's the height of the pyramid, I'm sorry, the cone, we're talking about cones today, the height of the cone, the radius of the circle, and then the, the sort of edge of the cone, or the edible part of the ice cream cone, if you're thinking about that. Okay, so let's look at some calculations. So with py pyramids, when we wanted to find the lateral area, so that's the, not the base, not the circle or the, the polygon, but the lateral area, it was one-half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Well, it's going to be the same thing here. It's one half the perimeter of the base times the slant height. Um, but what is the perimeter of the base? Well, in this case, it's one half the perimeter of the base. Perimeter of the base is the circumference of the circle. Circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So one half perimeter of the base times the slant height. But what's 1 half times 2? Well, half of 2 is 1, so that's just 1, and that just cancels out because that's just 1 pi rl, which is why this formula is what it is. So I'll give you this formula, lateral area is pi rl, but I think it's helpful to know why it looks like that and where the 1 half went. Well, that's where it went. Okay, uh, moving on. The, uh, the, the total surface area, just like with a pyramid again, it's that lateral area that we just discussed, plus the area of the base. So it's the lateral area plus the area of the base, but again, the area of the base here is a circle, so it's plus pi r squared. Um, so the, the sort of whole formula, if you want to think about it, is pi r slant height plus pi r squared, if you are calculating the entire surface area directly, as opposed to the separate lateral area, and then the area of the base. Okay, next up is volume. In volume, again, just like pyramids, one-third the area of the base times the height, but again, the area of the base here is the area of a circle, so it's just pi r squared. And so that's where this formula comes from, one-third pi r squared h. And that is the formula for volume of a cone. And there you have it. So let's let's look at an example and apply this now. Um, so here we go. So the lateral area we said was, and you've got this in your notes, but it's pi times the radius times the slant height, pi rl. Right? If you missed that, there it is, pi rl. Okay. So lateral area is pi rl, so let's just plug in what we've got. We've got pi times the radius, which is 8 meters, 
times the slant height, which is, uh-oh, where's the slant height? Well, there it is, but we don't know what it is. But, as I mentioned earlier, we have a right triangle. Kind of a funky looking right triangle. If you picture it 3D, it's a little hard to imagine, but there is a right triangle there. And we know the two legs are 15 and 8, so Pythagorean theorem. Uh, Pythagorean theorem, 8 squared plus 15 squared. Uh, this is a, actually a Pythagorean triple. You probably wouldn't know that one off the top of your head. Um, but if you're doing the Pythagorean theorem out, uh, 8 squared plus 15 squared equals the slant height squared. And if you add those together, you get 289 equals the slant height squared. And so the slant height ends up being 17 meters. I gave you another Pythagorean triple so that we don't have any funky decimals to deal with or radicals to deal with. Um, that's just me being a nice guy that I am. You're welcome. So our slant height is 17 meters. So 17 meters times 8. I probably should have this ready for you. I'm just getting out my calculator. 17 times 8. 136 pi meters squared. There's your lateral area. Then your total surface area is just that. Ooh, that's awful. I gotta write that again. You're gonna be all over me for that horrible handwriting. 136 pi plus the area of the base, which is pi r squared, which is 64 pi square meters. So let's just add that together and we get 200, whoops, sorry about that. We get 200 pi square meters. I left the square meters off there, being a little bit lazy. So there it is. So that's the total surface area. And then volume. You've got your formula for volume that you should know. There it is. One third pi r squared h. So one third pi times the radius, eight meters squared, times the height. Now again, remember this time, if you notice, that's the actual height. That's this. That's not the slant height. You don't want to get those things mixed up. So the actual height of the cone is 15 meters. And you got to think about your order of operations here. The only thing being squared here is that 8. So this is 1 third pi times 64 square meters times that 15 meters. Give ourselves a little more room to work with here. Um, and if we multiply 1 third by 64 by 15, we get 320. So that's 320 pi meters cubed. And that is your volume. And that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Now enjoy that ice cream.